without our chains. And they know that we're going to win because Black Lives Matter today and every day. A dramatic showdown between police and protesters near, near Cleveland State University, a teenager at the center of the chaos. News Channel 5 was first to report on the clash, and investigator Jonathan Walsh was the first reporter on the scene. He joins us live from downtown, and Jonathan, police shut down part of Euclid Avenue earlier. Yeah, right around 5 o'clock, this whole intersection behind me was full of protesters and police. All of this started with a call about a 14-year-old boy and what happened to him at this bus stop. Our camera caught hundreds of people in the middle of Euclid Avenue at East 24th. Emotions running high. Transit police say a 14-year-old was drunk on a bus. Then they took him off that bus and to the bus shelter on 24th. People said officers roughed him up and used pepper spray. Since Friday, there was a national conference called the Movement for Black Lives happening at Cleveland State University nearby. Conference goers objected to the police actions. And when they started to lock arms, an officer sent pepper spray into the crowd. Police eventually led the teen in the green tank top to an ambulance for treatment. With the crowd still fired up, a man from the conference used a police loudspeaker. Our camera was rolling the moment where the teen was released into a family member's car. The crowd chanted. As soon as the car left, more cheering. Retaliation is police brutality. It's something you must stop somewhere. A lawful assembly that said, you know, this is what democracy looks like if you hear them. Now the police, I understand it's a job, but they need to fix out their protocols like any company. Now, the boy was released to his mother, but RTA says transit police would normally take him down to headquarters, but they couldn't do that because the crowd was trying to actually pull the boy out of the car. And uh, there's more people uh, off to the side here talking about this very incident. And RTA... Uh, RTA also tells me that they are looking into this incident. We'll have the very latest for you tomorrow. Reporting live here in, on the east side, I'm Jonathan Walsh, News Channel 5.